My name is Sam Vaknin and I'm a columnist in Brussels Morning. And today we're going to discuss what else? Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump has just become a few billion dollars richer by merging his Truth Social, DUD social network with a publicly traded blank check shell SPAC, Special Purpose Acquisition Company. And this is only the most recent example of the growing, gaping abyss between real-world values and paper ones. The securities industry worldwide is constructed upon the quicksand of self-delusion and socially acceptable confabulations. These serve to hold together players and agents whose interests are both disparate and diametrically opposed. In the long run, the securities markets are zero-sum gains, and the only possible outcome is win-lose. Usually they win and you lose. The first dirty secret is that a firm's market capitalization often stands in inverse proportion to its true value and valuation, as measured by an objective, neutral, disinterested party. And this is true especially when agents, management, are not also the principals, owners or shareholders. Owing to its compensation structure, invariably tied to the firm's market capitalization, management strives to maximize the former by manipulating the latter. Very often the only way to affect and affect the firm's market capitalization in the short term is to sacrifice the firm's interests and therefore its value in the medium to long term. The ma management can, for example, dole out bonuses even as the firm is dying, or speculate on leverage, or, by, or cook the books <laughs> altogether. The second open secret is that all modern financial markets are Ponzi pyramid schemes. The only viable exit strategy is by dumping one's holdings on future entrants. Fresh cash flows are crucial to sustaining ever-increasing prices. Once these dry up, markets collapse in a heap. And so, the market prices of shares, and to a lesser extent debt instruments, especially corporate ones, are determined by three cash flows. Number one, the firm's future cash flows incorporated into valuation models, such as the CAPM or FAR. Future cash flows in securities market, markets, in other words, the ebb and flow of new entrants, or new suckers, if you wish. And number three, the present cash flows of current market participants. The confluence of these three cash streams translates into what we call volatility and reflects the risks inherent in the security itself, the firm's idiosyncratic risk, as well as the hazards of the market, known as alpha and beta coefficients. In some stocks and share certificates do not represent ownership of the issuing enterprise. Do not at all. This is a myth, a convenient piece of fiction intended to pacify losers and lure new blood into the arena. Shareholders' claims on the firm's assets in cases of insolvency, bankruptcy or liquidation are of inferior or subordinate nature. Stocks um, and shares are merely options, gambles on the three cash flows enumerated above. Their prices wax and wane in accordance with expectations regarding the future net present values of these flaws. Once the music stops, they are worth very little, if at all. 